Here's our last question before we begin the next topic. How much net force is required to accelerate a 0.5 kilogram toy car, initially at rest, to a velocity of 2.4 meters per second in six seconds? All right, so let's look at the information that we have here. We have a mass of 0.5 kilograms. We also know that this toy car was at rest to begin with, I call that VI, and it ends up at 2.4 meters per second, VF, and a time of six seconds. So we've got mass, an initial velocity, final velocity, and a time. So what we're after here is finding out the net force. That's what we're asked for right here. So what to do? Well, first let's lay out what we do know. We know the mass. 0 0.5 kilograms. We know the initial velocity. It's zero. And we know the final velocity. It's 2.4 meters per second. And we know the amount of time that it takes the car to accelerate to that final velocity, six seconds. And what, we, what, what we're asked to find here is the net force. But the net force is equal to mass times acceleration. And here we seem to have a dilemma. We're not being told directly what the acceleration is. Well, if we go back to kinematics, we know that the acceleration is defined as final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time. So if we like, we can make these substitutions here and find the value of A and VF, again, 2.4 meters per second. We're going to subtract from that VI, but VI is zero. So we'll skip that. And we're going to divide by the amount of time it takes, which is six seconds. So our answer, the acceleration is equal to 0 0.4 meters per second per second, or meters per second squared. So this is our, our intermediate answer. Now we can plug this back in uh, to the net force. We know the mass that was given, 0 0.5 kilograms, and we have the acceleration, 0 0.4 meters per second squared. Multiplying these through, we get that the net force is equal to 0 0.2, and it's kilogram meters per second squared, and that, as we know, is newtons. Net force. 0 0.2 newtons.